I from Candy Cane? I need to say something. I have contacted Jason or Tite. I have contacted Jesse when Jesse was in office. I have been with Vic Leskovich when he was in office. That's the last 25 years that I've been a member of that firehouse. I've contacted Camera. I went to dinner with Camera and drilled her for 20 minutes about this intersection when she was trying to get elected. Before that, Timmy and uh, Sullivan. I went through this with Timmy Sullivan. Again, last Sunday night, I called Camera, I called Jason, and I called Tim. I called Timmy and asked him to put me on the phone with somebody from the governor's office. Something needs to be done and it needs to be done now. Plain and simple. Not with you guys. You guys have exhausted your resources. I do not put any blame on any person in this room. Sean's guys take the abuse. I don't know how much of other people's blood has been shed on these guys' hands back here. Is it going to take a bunch of white crosses on the side of the road for Pendleton to do something? You got a 30-year single mother, 30 years old, sitting in a burn unit with burns on 30% of her body. You got her kid with 16% burns on her body. You got two other little kids in children's hospitals. Yet we sit here and talk about this month after month after month, and nothing has been done for 25 years, at least 25 years. I'm literally shaking right now because I'm so mad, because nothing has been done. At some point, somebody's got to draw a line in the sand and budge. I don't know if, if, if anybody knows anybody, everybody in this room, shake the trees. If you know somebody that knows somebody, we, we need help. You know what we need to do? You're exactly right. And you need to stand here and say this when Cameron and Jason and Pendot are in a room. And you need to bring every one of your neighbors who travels that intersection to that meeting. Because the only thing that's going to change their mind is to have everybody here, not just from Pristine Fields and Mayfair Meadows, from everywhere, because we all travel that road. And she said to contact the news agencies. Yes. I've contacted WPXI, I've done KDKA and WTAE. Two out of the three responded back with, the long of the short is, there's dangerous intersections everywhere in Pennsylvania. Why is your community any different? One of them kind of, and that's pretty much verbatim. And I probably find that email somewhere, but that was around 2008-ish. And the other one was more or less the same sentiment. I don't know what to do. We talked about taking the fire engine out there and putting a big sign on it with a crew of guys with the sign said, waiting for the next accident. And maybe that will get the news' attention. Excuse me, Ronnie. Hey, I don't have the time to go do that. Ronnie. guys don't have the time to go do that. I'd rather go do that, though, than, than, than deal with what could have happened the other night. Excuse me a minute. Uh, 980, the bend right below my house. Probably 14, 15 years ago, there was a terrible accident on that road. And it was because of the water that run onto the road and froze that night. Lo and behold, the girl that caused the accident hit another oncoming car, but she went after PennDOT sued PennDOT. Next thing you know, PennDOT got sued, we got sued, and six people up the road got sued because of the water run out on there. PennDOT got sued, PennDOT came and fixed the ditch and filled it up. They dug it out, they filled it in with rock and everything. And what I don't understand is anybody tried to sue PennDOT with, because of that intersection. If nobody has sued PennDOT, and PennDOT hasn't had to give any money out of their pocket, other, they're not going to do anything. Not everybody has the finances to hire an attorney and sue them. Wait a minute. Wait just a second. If it means getting the class action suit, Cindy, we can get 
some action on that intersection. I'm not disagreeing. Well, okay, but what I'm saying is she turned around and found an attorney that took it pro bono and got PennDOT to fix that road. We never had an accident on that road again as far as the water running down and them having an accident there. Maybe that's just exactly what it's going to take. Somebody putting a big lawsuit on PennDOT because PennDOT does not want to be noted for a lawsuit that they're going to have to pay out. Well, I, I think we ought to give, because of the latest accident, I think we ought to give our elected officials another chance at it. But may, maybe the solution is a little bit of civil unrest down there. If, as you suggested, with the fire departments, if we're down with our police and we, we stop traffic and make everybody stop and can't put up a stop sign where our police can stop them, maybe that'll bring out, if, if we get enough people there, that might bring out the news stations because it seems like they're the only ones that get some uh, response from uh, PennDOT. But I'd like to give, give our elected officials a new, another chance because it's in a new circumstance last Saturday. And uh, I, I think they're more interested now in helping us. But if not, I think there is another option after that. So we're going to be, Don is going to get a meeting set up with, with that, them for us. I'm, we'll just I'm, see I'm sorry, I don't agree with everything here, 99%. I think some of you guys better look in the mirror. You're, you're the ones causing the law of probability. There's nothing but development, 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 more traffic, more, more traffic, more traffic, and it's only someone else's fault. More schools, more school buses. Why are they building schools? You're doing housing development. Is there anything in Cecil Township that can't be developed? No, we've got to follow the law. You know about the NBC. Listen, the law, Pennsylvania law says if they're their property, they meet towards us, you can't said, stop it. Tom, it doesn't you, said, matter. you said 20 years ago our taxes are going to go down because of South Point. Uh, my taxes just went up. Someone in Hill Station Manor bought a $300,000 house. His home taxes went down. So you're paying from the bottom up again under this new system. The taxes haven't gone up. The, the assessments may have gone up, and that might affect your property if you run fairly assessed at the time. But don't go blame it on as if we raised taxes. That's not a fair thing to say at all. How can you say that some of these properties have been fairly assessed? Uh, I, I, I'm not commenting on that. I'm just saying he says his taxes went up, but not because of the township raised taxes. I didn't say the township raised taxes. Well, you implied it. Because you're one piece of the puzzle. What I get sick of is you guys are up here acting like nothing you do affects the school district, affects PennDOT, affects the term by commission. And we're all in it together is what I'm trying to say. And you can do one thing here, it causes another action here. But I mean, you know, sooner or later, I don't think you're looking out for the people who live here already. I mean, you can't add double and triple the traffic and say, I wonder why we're having more accidents. It's the laws of probability. I'm not pointing fingers at you, but I'm saying you're going to build, you're building an empire here. You don't want to pay for public services. Your guys are crying about the police service we have now. You're crying about the money the fire department's getting now. We need, you're going to need more services, Wait, more stop, repairs. Stop, stop, stop. What? First of all, we're not crying about that. Second of all, Supervisor Cassiola already told you, if somebody has a property, by law, we have to allow them to develop it. So you can stand there and yell at us and point the I'm finger at us and say really? it's us, 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 us. You, but we have to follow the Why did you slow the general down for two months? Because you didn't buy the property because when you had the That's chance. That's not true. That I don't stop. believe that, but we'll stop no, there. stop. That's not true. Sit down. That's I'm, not you true. You don't tell me to sit down. All right, all right. Well, that's not the point. What I'm saying is, no, hold on. The, the, the point was that if a farmer decides to sell his property, he, he has what? a right to develop. That's the law. It's not our law. It, it's what I'm saying law. is, you've been talking about the comprehensive plan for years. That you are allowed to set lot sizes. You're allowed to set so much development. You're allowed to make comments that we think there's going to be too much traffic. What I'm saying is, you're going to have a knee-jerk reaction. You're going to build all these places up. Then you're going to take right away from homeowners, you're going to take right away that the wider roads that these township roads cannot handle. I'm not personally pointing at you, I'm trying to look at the big picture of every time you develop something, there is a cause and effect. If you add three, how many houses in McConnell's tonight, and in that road there, gee, there wasn't any accidents last 10 years, but now you double the traffic on it, there's accidents all of a sudden. Is that Pendot's fault? I'm saying there's consequences to your actions and your decisions. And I think you need to think some things through. And I think I, I'm, I know you have to develop to a certain point. Well, we don't but develop. We, we, the township doesn't develop anything. Property. You don't set lot sizes. We, we don't develop anything. Developers do that. You know that. What I'm saying is, why not 60 houses instead of 300 houses? In some you, you know, Peters Township tried that. They tried to make minimum two-acre lots, and they, and they were taken to court and they lost, and they ordered the maximum size they can well, set. We haven't been 
afraid to go to court on anything else? That, 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 that's not a question of being afraid. That, that establishes the law that you, you, you can't try to stifle development.